and uh, uh, I will start my presentation. And uh, first of all, I uh, I was looking back my memories uh, when um, uh, when is my first time for joining this RF <laughs> events. Uh, it was uh, 2013. Yes, uh, over 10 years ago, <laughs> and uh, I, 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 I'm joining. Uh, I'm now uh, contributing the OS community. Uh, today, I will show about this title, and uh, uh, my my talk is also my OSS journey. <laughs> so, pre uh, um, start my presentation. Uh, my uh, presentation title is uh, "What I Learned from Participating in the Kubernetes Community." And uh, uh, today's outline: uh, first of all, uh, who am I? An introduction, and what is advantage advantage of using OSS? And uh, first item is upstream first, and uh, next is the barriers uh, barriers for joining to uh, contribute uh, joining to uh, OSS community, and uh, next is ideas for overcoming the uh, the barriers and the type of contributions and uh, our contributions to the Kubernetes community and uh, recent momentum in Japan, and last is wrap up. So let's start. Yeah. Uh, my name is uh, Akihito Ino, and uh, I'm uh, with NEC Solution Innovator. And uh, uh, my X account is uh, 828888, and LinkedIn is uh, here. Uh, I I already uh, uploaded my slide uh, on my sessions page, so uh, please uh, download and uh, please check, uh, click this uh, account URL and contact me, uh, anything, uh, comments. And uh, I have experience uh, building an IS platform service using OpenStack in the past. Uh, I'm particularly in interested in uh, cloud native technologies. And recently, I've been actively contributing to the Kubernetes community. My main contributions include the uh, contributor experience, ContribEx, and uh, uh, documentation work, and uh, involvement in aspect of cluster lifecycle. I've been engaged in the OSS community for uh, over six years. Uh, 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 on social media, I sometimes use the, this uh, left bottom dog icon as my profile picture. So, uh, introduction. Uh, I'm I'm con uh, contributing to the Kubernetes community. I learned many topics from the community. I will share what I have around from the community and uh, some important uh, points about participating in the OSS way. Since I'm Japanese, so I will also include tips uh, specifically for people in Japan. First, uh, what is the advantage of using OSS? Uh, let's talk about that. Uh, why would you use OSS? Uh, first one is because it's free, <laughs> uh, free to use. And next, because you can access the latest features. And uh, because others are, uh, because others are using it. For example, Kubernetes. Uh, everyone else is using OSS is important, I think. Uh, because uh, Kubernetes uh, can run on on-premise or uh, something public cloud, uh, GKE or uh, AKS, EKS, something like that. <coughs> and uh, I think all of these are valid reasons. The fact that it's free is important of a first one item. Uh, you can try it, uh, try it right away. And this often becomes a point of discussion. Recently, starting with OSS has also become more common 
or uh, for accessing cutting edge features, uh, second items. And as more people start using OSS, the needs uh, for standardization arise. I believe this standard standardization is also one of advantage of OSS. So I believe all of these are correct answers. Next, not only you can use OSS, but by getting deeply involved in the OSS community, you can gain uh, even more value. Since OSS is open source, so you can fix bug or implement new feature within your own organization. However, however, the best practice is participating in the OSS community and work on solutions within the community. Uh, it is important, I think. This approach is what we call upstream first. So uh, what is upstream first? Uh, someone, someone already known this uh, word, but uh, I, I explain uh, this time. Uh, upstream first is uh, if uh, it's the approach of prior, prioritizing contributions to the original OSS before applying them to your own version. This way uh, maintains a consistency, a consistency in code base and uh, reduce maintenance burden. You gain benefits from the OSS community and OSS community gain benefits from you. For example, uh, uh, this is a simple and commonly used example. So some of you may already know this scenario, <laughs> this example, uh, patch maintenance. Uh, you are, uh, you are uh, op operating your in-house system using OSS, and you have a patch for that. And uh, here, and this time, uh, there are two options. Uh, if you maintain the patch in company, you need to apply the patch to OSS on each release. Uh, I think it's a typical burden. Uh, it is a typical pain point. And uh, option B, uh, if you push the patch to the original OSS, uh, it is called for called uh, upstream, and uh, the patch is merged. The patch is maintained and uh, applied by community on each release. If you choose uh, B B option, you will no longer need to maintain patches yourself, and at the same time, OSS community get a uh, uh, quality improvement of OSS. So. The uh, last of sentence means uh, you gain benefits from OSS community and OSS community gain benefits from you. And uh, participating upstream first uh, in this way means becoming more deeply involved in the OSS community. You need to contact with uh, OSS community, push your patch, receive reviews, and engage in discussions, discuss, <laughs> discussions, and update the patch, and work towards getting it merged, and loop, loop, loop. I believe, uh, 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 I believe this is a core uh, of OSS and the OSS community. But there are some barriers, I think. Uh, first one is a language barrier, and the second, uh, second barrier is a culture barrier. And uh, I explained the first one, a language barrier. Uh, in OSS community, the most communication language on OSS community is English. So, uh, Japanese people don't tend to, don't tend to good at communication, uh, communicating in English. 
and next, culture barrier. Knowledge and idea in OSS community is found in bidirectional discussions. Uh, I think this is a bazaar style. But people in Japan don't tend to be good at uh, this type of discussion, I think. So as a result, people tend to, ten tend to think a lot before discussions and miss opportunity for sharing ide ideas. And uh, I, I insert this page uh, before <laughs> my presentation. Uh, I took this picture uh, yesterday. And uh, Jim Zebrin, Jim San said, uh, <laughs> Jim San said, but I focused on the, this left, left side, this, this section. <laughs> this section says 27% uh, of organization in Japan are contributing to OSS. In the other hand, 42% 40, 40 in global. Yes, uh, organizations in Japan, uh, ah, organizations in Japan is low, a low percent. Uh, in the other, as a, other hand, global uh, company are contributing to the OSS community. I think, uh, previous page, <laughs> these barriers are uh, one of the reason for uh, this low score of uh, uh, contributing to the OSS community. So, ideas for overcoming the, these barriers. Uh, I raised up the four items, and the first one is use tools for good communication. Uh, translation service or LLM service, and a translation service is good, like a Google Translator or DPL. And recently, I use LLM service like ChatGPT uh, because my my English skill is, uh, you know, my English skill is uh, not good. <laughs> not I am not fluent about the English, but uh, if you use these uh, tools, uh, you can. Uh, you can communicate uh, with uh, uh, English. And next, uh, understand the process of contribution. Each community has each process for contribution. It is important to understand that. And make the place to uh, create friends in local language to discuss. Recently, each OSS community has each communication channel. For example, Kubernetes community has official Slack channel. You can make friends on that. And uh, you can make friends on real events like <laughs> these uh, OSSJ events or local meetup, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, you can say anything. If, anything, even if English is not uh, fluent. Don't be afraid. All community members are so kind. Uh, I think uh, last item is so important. Uh, if you use uh, uh, translation service or LLM service, uh, and uh, good in English is uh, used uh, by these services, uh, it's okay. But uh, more core, Core importance is uh, don't be afraid. Uh, all community members are so kind. So it's OK to use a br uh, broken English or, uh, like me, including me. Uh, it's OK. Uh, community members are so kind, for, uh, so helpful. It is, uh, uh, I emphasize this message. And it is. Uh, it is fun, uh, fundamental, ah, next page is type of contributions. It is fundamental to contribute to the topic we are facing. So this can include technical activities, such as uh, first one, bug, bug fix, bug report, and uh, add more tests, uh, implement new feature, cover more type of errors. Uh, these, these contributions are, uh, I think, uh, Tech-related uh, tech contribution, uh, as well as 
and non-tech uh, contributions are exist here. Uh, uh, so documentation and add a new document page or translate documentation, so English to J Japanese translation, or organize local event or training or meetups or post blogs or SNS. I think uh, all of these uh, actions are contributions to the OSS community. And uh, this time uh, I will explain our contributions to the Kubernetes community. We are, we are a team of multiple members. Uh, while we do make uh, technical contributions, the uh, first one is, uh, is that uh, this is a treat uh, a, normal, uh, a normal node status uh, for uh, shutting down node. And we also place a strong emphasis to contributing to a documentation, a second one and so third one. While we do make technique, we, we focused on starting small, and additionally, our clients tend to desire accurate documentation, which drive us to make these contributions. Furthermore, we are engaged in activity beyond contributions to code and documentation. Uh, that is uh, these two items. <laughs> we have been involved in promoting the Japanese OSS community through Kubernetes upstream training, uh, first one. And uh, Kubernetes upstreaming is the uh, Japanese training for joining the attendee to Kubernetes community with practical hands-on. We started this training in uh, on 2019, and uh, it's now a uh, shig of CNCJ. Uh, I, I will uh, explain the CNCJ next week, and uh, we will uh, we will hold uh, 12 training in next month in Cloud Native Days winter. And we are participating in discussion related to Kubernetes LTS, a long-term support in Japan. Our, our continued engage in this activity has contributed to the growing vibrancy of the local community in Japan. I think. So, recent momentum in Japan, uh, I raised up uh, three, uh, three topics. The first one is an uh, is, uh, organization, uh, CNCJ, uh, Crown Native Community Japan. CNCJ is an organization focused on promoting Crown Native technology and OSS culture in Japan, which was established uh, last year, uh, December 2023, so almost one year, uh, one year ago. Uh, uh, it focused to connect the CNCF upstream with Japanese community, companies, and organizations. And recently, participate, participation has been increase, increasing particularly in area like uh, was a web assembly and ebbf uh, something like that uh, subgroup of C uh, <laughs> these uh, subgroup are uh, inc including in the CNC CJ. and now kubernetes upstream training is also uh, positioned as part of this cncj's uh, sig special interest group. And the uh, next one is Cloud Native Days. Cloud Native Days can be uh, considered a major event for Cloud Native in Japan. It having been held for about five, five years, 
uh, it has uh, established a regular schedule and uh, is growing in scale each year. And last one, uh, finally, uh, KobeCon is set to hell in Japan. Uh, it is big news for me. I had always uh, through of KobeCon as being associated with EU or uh, anyway, North America. So decision to hold in Japan is, uh, uh, it, it is big, big news for me. So uh, I wrap up my presentation. So uh, uh, four items, and the first one is join OSS community and upstream first with OSS community. The style of go forward with community is core value of OSS, I think. And next is contribution has various types. I recommend the contributing the uh, document at start point uh, because it is easy to start. And uh, especially, translation is good for Japanese contributor for starting point because uh, Japanese translation is, uh, <laughs> Japanese people has, uh, uh, <laughs> Japanese people can, uh, 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 review the uh, uh, translation uh, um, uh, patches, <laughs> and uh, once once you become more comfortable contributing and broaden your scope, uh, discussion on community is essential part of OSS. I think so. It's okay speak without fluent English. And last one is create friend in global community and local community. I think the uh, last part is uh, very important. And this page is the uh, last page from, my, from me. And uh, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, Kubernetes.io, uh, uh, it is an official, official page of Kubernetes. Uh, Japanese member post the blog about the uh, Kubernetes upstream training in Japan. So, uh, anyone uh, interested in uh, these trainings, uh, please check these pages, uh, kubernetes.io slash blog. And uh, currently, uh, top of article is this, so you, you can, uh, you can uh, read, uh, read out this uh, you can read this article. So, uh, okay, so uh, it's all from me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Any question or comment? Uh, anything is uh, appreciated. is your best experience involved in the global community? Uh, so uh, your question is, what is the uh, best experience in OSS community? And uh, uh, my experience, uh, I, I jo joined the uh, Kubernetes community. And uh, Kubernetes, uh, you know, Kubernetes is a very, very big uh, project. And uh, so, uh, Many of people are joining to OSS community. It means uh, any comments in the, on the OSS community. Uh, more and more diversity is uh, exist in the big OSS community. So uh, it is uh, uh, my mm, in, uh, my big big experience of uh, uh, for joining OSS community. Yeah. Thank you. Th thank you very much, Kitsugawa. So that was very good. Um, yeah, just ask, um, 
so I would, you know, also like to go to some local um, sort of contributor meetups. Hmm. Um, are there any other ones apart from the sort of the ones you showed in the presentation today uh, that you, that you know of uh, in Tokyo, for example, where people can meet up and and you know and contribute together? Uh, uh, your question is uh, any any local event in uh, Japan? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I. Uh, uh, for example, this <laughs> LTS meetup is uh, held in uh, uh, last month, uh, <laughs> last week, and as a local as a local meetup is uh, uh, Kuba, uh, Kubernetes Meetup Tokyo or Cloud Native Days Tokyo, and uh, you can uh, you can find uh, every local event on uh, Compass. You, you know Compass? Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no problem. A local event in Japan are uh, usually uh, entry this site and compass c o n n p a s s dot j v <laughs> sorry c o n n p a s s dot com and uh, 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 as I mentioned uh, uh, Kubernetes Meetup Tokyo or uh, Cloud Native Days uh, Cloud Native Meetup Tokyo or uh, something like that is uh, entry this uh, Site, so uh, you can check the, uh, from this site. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, first, thanks for this presentation. So my question is that, um, in your experience of the, uh, contributing to uh, open source uh, community, have you uh, ever experienced? Uh, being rejected. For example, if you um, took a lot of effort on an idea and make that to as a PR, but being rejected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so if you have experienced such things, how did you overcome the upset to keep you going to make another <laughs> PR or something like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So yes, uh, the situation is I, I experienced <laughs> that situation, and uh, yes, uh, I uh, my my opinion is uh, two 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 topics two options, and the first one is uh, keep keep my um, keep my comment to the uh, <laughs> communities and uh, uh, keep going keep going keep going. Or ne next is. Uh, as a members, uh, uh, to, to, uh, you can you can correct the people uh, with uh, same 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 uh, same. Same. Uh, same motivations. Uh, 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 what I should say is, uh, uh, if 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 create a pull request, and just myself uh, idea is uh, is not strong, but a mar multiple <laughs> a multiple member uh, <laughs> support the uh, pull request ideas and. Uh, it is uh, more strong for approval, uh, approve uh, the idea. So uh, uh, I guess it is uh, it is good for uh, other 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 uh, other people uh, who have uh, same idea of for me. Uh, 
Uh, can can I answer your question? <laughs> uh, so, if I understand it correctly, you mean that uh, uh, maybe that idea, someone, um, maybe you could improve from that idea, mm -hmm. and you need to figure out how, why you get rejected, mm -hmm. and maybe that's a uh, uh, some somehow that become a. Uh, motivation to improve our, ourselves to so something like that uh, uh sorry uh, so what i mean uh, being rejected may be an uh, experience to improve yourself or uh, i may get you wrong but if is that your mean uh Sorry, sorry for. Uh, I can I can understand your question. So, uh, please uh, talk, please talk to me to the after this. Okay, I will. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, that, that's why uh, we should be involved the community, and uh, we created a Japan local community. So there are many friends and a contributor, another contrib other contributors. So they can help us. Mm -hmm. So I think it is a uh, good uh, activity. It's good to create the Japanese community. I feel. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, I'm also, I really agree with you because I, I also feel the uh, obstacle to use English in the public space. So uh, my idea is uh, how about to create a, a training menu, training program yeah. in the uh, local community mm. or Linux Foundation uh, to prepare the, such a this like this a place like this, uh, so uh, I think uh, such a obstacle can be a uh, uh, loss, loss of chance opportunity for Japanese uh, community, not not yeah. only community, not, yeah. not only, uh, but also for uh, economy, economy. I think so. Some uh, some mana, some mana or, or some program to. Uh, overcome such a uh, obstacle or barrier you mentioned. Uh, that's my comments. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for uh, presentation. <laughs> uh, my question uh, so point. Is uh, so how to so uh, so get so new contributor so if you if you try to so anything so what what do you do uh, to contri uh, get contributor ah yeah so uh, I I I explained uh, 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 or just this page and. <laughs> Uh, organizing Kubernetes upstream training, and uh, this training is uh, in uh, you, in ja Japanese. And uh, uh, if if uh, someone uh, attend this uh, these trainings, uh, uh, I am uh, one of the tra trainer, and uh, you can uh, understand uh, how to contribute uh, contribution to Kubernetes community. And uh, further is. Uh, 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 what, uh, what, uh, what type of the contributions uh, uh, exist in the uh, governance committee, something like that. Question point, so who is coming the event, uh, this event? Ah, yeah, uh, so various type of uh, people are attending these uh, trainings. And uh, well, uh, we already uh, held this training and uh, 11 times, and uh, uh, attendee is uh, including uh, stu uh, students uh, or uh, 
mm, uh, uh, be business person uh, also included and but uh, pretty pretty i uh, know pretty young age businessman is uh, attending this uh, training i think yeah okay thank you